Welcome back to a new video lecture and in this lecture we discuss a new topic and it is related with the estimation of roads. So here you can observe that the earthwork estimation for the road and the two diagrams are also shown here that is the banking and cutting. So as you know the earthwork of road in banking or in cutting is usually in the form of trapezium. Okay, so we have to find out the area of that particular section of the trapezium and then multiplied by the length of that particular road section. So, sectional area multiplied by length. So, area unit is going to be meter square, then length it is going to be meter. So, before going to that, what is the difference in the case of this banging and cutting? Actually, this cutting is the example for this cutting is our roads, canals, etc. And in the case of banking, you can observe that the construction of tunnels, trenches, likewise. Okay. So, here you can observe some terms are written here. That is, the cross-sectional, it is already mentioned that it is in the shape of trapezium. And here you can observe that this B represent the formation width of that particular road cross-section then this d represents the depth of that particular section then the slope that is s is to one represent the side slope as horizontal to the vertical such that you will get the this dimension as the horizontal it is going to be yes for one vertical horizontal is yes and for d vertical if you observe d vertical the value it is going to be SD. Okay. So, sectional area you can easily obtain that this is a rectangle portion. So, the area of central or rectangular portion plus the area of two triangular portions. Okay. So, these two areas will give or the three areas including this rectangular area. Then both sides is the triangular shape area also you have to add up. Okay. So, same procedure is re <coughs> repeated here also. This cutting portion also, the same procedure you can repeat. It. Okay. So, here you can observe the some dimensions are also mentioned here. So, already mentioned that the area of central rectangular portion, you can observe that B multiplied by D. So, you will get the area of this rectangular portion, this much region. Then what about this region? If you observe that the right angle triangle, so half multiplied by SD multiplied by D, then actually this triangular portions are of 2, 2, so you have to multiply by 2 also. So if you multiply, you will get BD plus SD square, and the total quantity you can obtained by sectional area multiplied by the total length okay so you will get the total earthwork excavation for the road okay so there are, here are some methods which you are using to find out the estimation of roads one of the method is mid sectional area method so here you can observe that a road section is given here and the total length it is given as l and at both ends, the height is different or depth is different here. here. D1 and D2 are represented here. And the formation width is same, that is B. So, while using this midsectional area method, you have to calculate the mean depth, that is D1 plus D2 by 2, that is written here. The average depth you have to take. Then the formula is again going to same, that is B. The area of this rectangle portion that is b multiplied by dm then multiply plus you have to add up this triangular areas okay the same formula but the difference is that you have to use this depth as mean depth okay so you will get the final value in this way b dm plus sdm square multiplied by total length of the particular road section
So actually this is the tabular corner for the representation of while doing problems you will get more clarity regarding the what is the purpose of this tabular column. So in the first case the station points or change length then the depth of each portions then the area of central portion that is rectangular portion then the area of sides is, then the total sectional area that is BD plus SD square then mean sectional area and the total length after that the final values you can calculate using this banging or cutting okay so according to the sign conventions positive or negative you will fill up banging or cutting okay so this tabular column we will use while doing problems so you will get more clarity regarding why we are using this tabular column another important thing which we have to note down that the area of side sloping surface that is this surfaces okay so for calculating that the area of side sloping surface we have to calculate as you already know this value it is going to be sdm or sd or this value it is going to be dm or d okay so you have to calculate the this value using the pythagoras theorem so sd whole square plus d square and you will get if you take d outside then d multiplied by x square plus 1 then you already know that this length it is going to be l so this area it is also here also so you have to take 2 multiplied by l d multiplied by square root of x square plus 1 that is for the area of side sloping surface okay so this is the tabular column for finding out the total area of side slopes is for the different chain edges or different station points is you can use this tabular column okay so now we move on to the next method that is mean sectional method mean sectional area method so here uh, you have to calculate individually each portions that is first of all you have to calculate this one then second you have to calculate this second case that is a1 and this one represents a2 and a1 equals bd1 plus sd1 square then a2 it is going to be bd2 plus sd2 square then after that you have to take the average that is a1 plus a2 by 2 average area so you will get the total volume mass or total quantity is going to be average area multiplied by the total length okay the last method that is prismoidal formula while doing this calculate this method you have to individually calculate this a1 that is a1 which is going to be bd1 plus sd1 square individual portions okay then the second one a2 also you can easily calculate this one represents a1 this represents a2 and while calculating the average area you have to take the average depth then only you have to calculate this average area or mean area so after that you can use this equation that is l by 6 multiplied by a1 plus a2 plus 4 multiplied by mean area okay and among these three methods is this prismoidal formula method which is going to be more accurate so here you can observe a question so calculate the quantity of earthwork for the length it is given as 200 meter 200 meter length for a portion of road in a uniform ground the height of the banks at two ends are going to be d1 and d2 it is also given formation width b it is given as 10 meter and the side slope it is given as 2 is to 1 so using the midsectional method you can find out the average depth that is going to be dm it is going to be d1 plus d2 by 2 which is going to be 1.3 meter and after that area of midsection it is going to be b multiplied by d mean, d mean plus s multiplied by the average depth square so you will get 16.38 meter square after that you have to multiply with the 200 that is the total length you will get 3276 meter cube okay 
this area unit it is going to be meter square length it is going to be meter so you'll get meter cube unit unit is also very important and second you we use the second method that is the mean section area method using this method first of all calculate the average area using the first depth you will get 12 meter square after that using the second depth you have to that is 1.6 meter you will get 21.12 meter square after that you have to take the average of that two areas that is a1 plus a2 by 2 and finally you if you multiply this mean area multiplied total length you will get 3312 meter cube and in the last case that is the prismoidal rule we use this prismoidal rule the general equation is going to be l by 6 multiplied by a1 plus a2 plus 4 into the mean area so calculate this mean area using this formula that is you have to calculate this dm by d1 plus d2 by 2 in the first method already we calculate these values so you will get 16.38 and also a1 and a2 also you have to calculate separately using the d1 and d2 already we calculated those values in the second method means sectional area method and you will get 12 and 21.12 and if you multiply you will get 3 2 double 8 meter cube in this problem we use this different methods is, that is the mid-sectional method then the mean sectional area method and finally the prismoidal rule method and among these three methods this prismoidal rule method gives more accurate value and with this we wind up today's section thank you